Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for an everyday glowy fresh skin. As you can see, it may look like I have a lot of makeup on, but I don't. It's basically just enhancing and just evening out the skin. Using a lot of products that are more like a skin tint, very sheer finishes. So again, it's suitable for every day. So I did get some color during the summer by doing outdoor activities. So you may see a little bronziness here and there. And allergies suck so bad right now. Like my throat is so... So it's a little raspy at the moment, but try my best to talk clear and loud for you guys. If you guys are interested on my everyday fresh glowy skin, then please keep on watching. So the first thing I like to use is this toner in the morning. This is going to help brighten my skin, just even out the complexion a little bit. This also gives you a light exfoliant, but it's going to be gentle to use every day. Yeah, sometimes my pump is broken. Well, the pump is working today, but normally I have to unscrew this and like pour it out, but today it's working. This also removes excess dirt that I may have from the night before or even throughout the day. So if you don't have a toner, you can always use a misting spray of some sort just to give a little hydration into the skin. This will definitely give you a boost to the glowy, dewy, finish, fresh look that we are going for. So the next step is to use a moisturizer or a glowing or dewy finished one. Also, don't forget to always use sunscreen. You can mix them together. You can use one after the other. Sunscreen is definitely a must. I'm actually going to use this by Supergoop. It has SPF 40. It does give a glowy kind of illuminating look. I think it just gives just enough of a glow, but it's not going to be over frosty or feeling too oily on the skin. I'm just going to fill in my brows like I normally do. I really love using wax based pencils because they work so well on my eyebrows which are practically nothing. I always have to carve my brows. I just like to sharpen them and shape them a little bit more just because eyebrows frames your face and I feel like my eyebrows are uneven. So this is definitely must needed. And if this doesn't apply to you then you can move on to the next step. I unfortunately want to and need to. I gotta do something about this color for my forehead that is darker than the rest of this. This is definitely not a must. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It really depends if I have a good brow day. Sometimes I get too much concealer on the tail, so I just have to put a little product on there because the wax-based pencil can tend to slip. So I've been using this cream eyeshadow and you can use actually any brand. It doesn't have to be a cream, it could be powder. I just like this formulation because it is cream but it's not wet creamy. It's actually a dry creamy. It basically is creamy to blend but it actually dries into a powder. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, a primer and a shadow. And I apply it just on the lids and I just kind of flick it into the crease so it has like a soft gradient but it's not going to be a strong color. It's literally just going to brighten my lids. I might have to use my left hand for this guy which I'm not really skilled in. But that's the fine beauty about a cream eyeshadow. You can just use your fingers to blend it and it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is a perfect everyday kind of look or a step if you choose to do this or not. Think of it as a bright concealer under the eyes. It just brightens it. This will just brighten up the eyelids. In with another favorite drugstore product. This is Wet n Wild. It's the highlight contour in a matte finish. I'm just gonna use a bronze color here. And I'm basically just gonna warm up my crease by using that contour shade. So I don't know if I mentioned that my voice is a little raspy right now because my allergies are so bad. Literally sniffling and sneezing all day, my allergy medicine finally just kicked in. I'm just like so, sorry TMI, but like so phlegmy. So like, I'm like, ah. <laughs> so I'm trying to talk loud and clear, so sorry. Let's move on to lashes. I'm just gonna curl my lashes like I normally do before applying on the mascara. If you guys haven't seen my recent video, I actually tried some beauty hacks from 5 Minute Crafts. Also, there's a summer giveaway. Basically, I applied on Vaseline first, mascara, and then I crimped my lashes. They were so perky. 
like I felt like I permed my lashes or did like a lash lift. It was pretty cool. So I'm just going to use this mascara by Givenchy. It has tight little teeth. Hopefully it's going to give me a lot of dimension and volume. And yes, I'm still going to wear lashes. This mascara is good. I just wish my lashes curl a bit. So what's your go-to favorite false lashes? The pairs that I'm going to wear are the Demi Wispies by Ardell. They never fail me. I literally have like maybe 20 pairs. Fun fact, I was actually looking for a mirror to apply on my lashes because I have to like lean into this one. I don't think I've ever noticed that this had a mirror. These lashes look so weird on me right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it bent in my bag because these were the pair of lashes I wore last weekend when I went to the family's house. It just looks weird. I don't know if these are super warm, but they look extra fluffy on me. Like, you know how when girls get their lash extensions and they get those extreme volume, like, fluff? Like, yeah. <laughs> So because of summer and we've been doing a lot of outdoor activities, I've gotten a little color from the sun, which is nice. So I've actually been doubling up on my product that I carve my brows with, with my complexion to conceal. Because most of the products I have, they're a little too light. And I'm just going to use a sponge because it feels like the most seamless application that I've been really enjoying so far. I still use brushes for the remaining parts of my makeup, but for complexion wise, I've actually been just liking the sponge technique. I just don't want any separations that sometimes a brush can, especially if I have texture in certain parts of my skin. This has been my go-to everyday complexion besides wearing sunscreen. This is the Super Serum, Super Serum. <laughs> this is the Super Serum Skin Tint by Illy and it does have SPF 40. Hope this is my color, guys. Maybe I should do a swatch. Hmm. Shoot. I actually did not realize how light it is now. Thank God it's super sheer. It's very blendable, so it's not too bad. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is so good. I just love how it feels on the skin. Super radiant, glowy, just super fresh looking skin. While the face is drying, I'm just gonna tight line my waterline. Let's brighten the bottom. Gonna apply on a little mascara to the lower non-existing lashes. Going back to this palette, I'm just going to apply this under the eyes. And the key to this look is not layering too much makeup on. I'm gonna use the contour now. Fresh glowing skin is just enhancing and not adding too much makeup. So you guys know how I feel about blushes. It's really not my thing, but I am open to it. Again, using a very sheer type of product like this, it's like a cream shadow. It's soft on the skin, adds a little color. Again, just enhancement. So I'm just gonna smile. Locate the apples of the cheek. Just kind of pat it up. Since I don't wear blush, I feel like I have big old cheeks now. To highlight the skin, I usually like to use Hourglass Ambient Light, and I kind of go across three colors. And the reason why I like to use this is because there's not much frost in this product. It's not glittery. It's not chunky. It's just really glowy. It just has a light reflectant. So when the sun, the light is just beaming on the skin, it's super soft focused light if you know what i mean again it just makes your skin really delicate looking so you can actually go a little ham on this i like to take the lightest color and then just apply it right under the arch of my brow 
you might not really see reflective light right off the bat and you don't have to worry about that because I'm telling you, once you guys are in certain lightings, it just reflects off of your face so nicely. Again, if you don't have those products, you could also use one of these that are multifunctional that you can use for lips, eyes, and cheeks. Or have two shades. This is a bronzing one, but you can also get like a, a peachy or pinky one for a blush. And the last product is the lips. I've been loving, loving this Nude Sticks lip pencil. This is actually a lip and cheek balm. So you can actually use this for your cheeks and for your lips. I just love this product because it's so creamy and it just literally completes the look. Because it's so hot here in the bay, it literally just broke off. So I'm just going to use my lip pencil and get what I can. And this is basically my everyday glowing fresh makeup look. Today I decided to curl the hair. I usually like to do a stronger beach wave and it has, and I'm going to be honest, it just became like a lazy wave. <laughs> so I just hold in the barrel for like literally two seconds and then I don't even spray it. I literally just use my fingers, comb it through, make sure the little flyaways are gone and they're still there. As you can see in certain angles where my highlights are, you can see it has like a soft focus glow, if you will. It's not like shimmery or glittery. Complexion is super lightweight. You can still see a whole bunch of freckles, discoloration, and I'm okay with that. This is just like everyday, like just even complexion, but not like layered on. The main goal is to basically enhance. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. So I'll put everything down in the info box for you guys, as well as the video links to my most recent video and that giveaway. That giveaway ends this Saturday, August 22nd, and the winner will be announced on my IG, so look out for that. Pacific Standard Time, I'm not too sure when, maybe right when I wake up or maybe mid-morning but it will be on that day for sure and unfortunately that giveaway is only valid in the US so sorry but good luck to everybody all right guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one